welcome. Let's uh, start with the big toes touching, knees open wide, and then just turn the fingers towards you with the palms face down. So just starting a little bit to wake up the wrist first of all. You can sway from side to side, or you can find a little bit of stillness. It's just that before we start thinking about the wrists, thinking about the hands, the shoulders, the arms, especially since they support us a lot throughout the class. If it's a little bit too much with the fingers towards the pelvis, then you can always turn the fingers outwards. So if you've just jumped on, don't worry. We've just started right here. Eventually, maybe it feels all right to slip in some, into some stillness. And then you can close your eyes and just start to breathe a little bit mindfully. Feeling the shape of the hips, the stretch of your feet. Eventually, we can turn the fingers back towards the front and then turn the right hand over so the back of the hand goes into the floor. You can do one at a time or you can try doing two at a time. Yeah, as long as it doesn't put too much weight. So make sure it feels good. And you can sway, you can stay in stillness, you can try and press down through the fingertips and the thumbs. Just exploring. And then turn the fingers towards each other. Let's bend the arms, let the chest go down. And then straighten the arms, feel that stretch through the wrist. That's a few times like that. Starting to get a little bit more awake in your arms. Good, and then releasing the hands. Sit back into your heels and bring your knees together. And then just rest with the palms faced up on your thighs. Now you can sit on a block if this is really difficult for you to sit here. Now if you need to sit cross-legged, you can do that too. But let your eyes close wherever you are. And breathing again mindfully, just trying to bring all that awareness into you and within you. So the breath getting fuller and deeper as you breathe in and out through your nose. You can give yourself counts if you like, four counts to breathe in, four counts to breathe out. And adding in the pauses in between the breaths. Really triggering that nervous system to relax. One more breath here. Now bring the palms together, interlace the fingers and just circle out the wrists. Circle on the other way. And then, and then take the hands behind, interlace them behind your back, draw the shoulders back and then press the hands down towards the floor. So how's that feeling today? It's a big effort to pull those shoulders back, a little clue of how you're feeling today. A nice big breath in, fill up the chest. And a long breath out. Wrap the, the right arm around your back, keep the fingers interlaced, and just lower your left ear towards the left shoulder. Squeeze the right shoulder down the back. And then bring the left arm around your back. Press the right palm into the left palm 
and right ear towards the right shoulder. Squeeze your left shoulder blade down. Bringing the head back up, release the hands, and then just let your body fall over your legs. Reach the arms out in front. Yes, so how's that child's pose now with those knees together, feet together? The grip onto the floor with the hands. Feel the stretch through your shoulders. Press your hips back into your heels. Feel that extension. Long breath in, expand into it. Long breath out. Yeah, we'll come up onto all fours and then take little circles. So it moves through the fingertips. You could try gra grabbing onto the floor with the fingertips as you go through the circle. And take the circle the other way. I'm going to keep this circular action going as you extend your right leg out and press the toes into the floor. And again, just finding those little circles, pulsing the heel around in that circle, waking up the ankle, the feet, especially the toes. Also feeling a stretch through your calf. Maybe you're getting some of that in your hamstring. Circle it the other way. Get the feeling of your put, that you're pushing away from the mat as well with the hands. Then we can lower the right knee to the floor, just extend the left leg out. Press the toes into the floor and again, little circles. And if you like, close your eyes, feel the heel push back, feel how that goes up your leg through your calf, back of the leg. Circling the other way, feeling the strength as you push away from the mat, arms nice and strong. And then lower the knee, knee to the floor. Just push your hips forwards and back. Maybe those hips can tap the heels, the head can go nice and far forwards. Just enjoying the movement, enjoying how that feels in your body. And then into your regular cat cow, so letting your belly sink and lifting your head chest up. And then rounding into the back, chin to chest. Okay, do that two more times. The inhale to lower, the exhale to round. The last time, really try and expand into your body. Now try circles with the rib cage any which way you can go. Get your head involved as well, big circles with the head, big circles with the hips, and circle it the other way. We're just trying to warm up the body in all directions, just preparing for everything. Go any way that feels good. No one's watching, <laughs> so you can do what you like. Not that you can't do what you like, even if someone's watching. <laughs> All right, so come back to neutral. Tuck your toes under, lift the hips up and back, and keep moving there in your downward dog. Press the heels down, wiggle into it. Remember the breath is slow and steady, keeping you calm. And you step the right foot outside your right hand. And once you get there, lower the left knee to the floor. Now keep your right foot flat on the floor. Draw your chest forwards and then just pull back. Flex the right toes up. Now we're going to do this a few times, just going forwards and back. How does it feel there when you're making sure the right foot is flat on the floor as you rock forwards? And then sink into the right leg with the foot flat, draw your chest forwards, and then push your right foot onto its side and let the knee open out to the side. Yeah, I you know you know what I mean. So the sole of the foot is towards the sky, the chest is forwards, the knee is opening to the side. Now try going forwards and back like that. 
See if that changes the stretch. Keeping the side of the foot on the floor. You can even try and do a little bit more of a circular motion. Yeah, see how that feels. How does it get into your hips, into your legs? Maybe you can take those circles the other way. Try and find a smooth pathway. Good. <laughs> Sinking back into the right leg. Let's take a twist, right arm up to the sky. As an option, you can bend the left leg in. It's going to be deep. <laughs> take the right hand back, catch hold of your left foot, and then try and twist the chest towards the right. Long breath in. And long breath out. Release, bring your right hand down, extend the left leg out. Now lift your left knee up off the floor, lift your right hand off the floor and bring your left knee into your chest, extend the left leg all the way out in front. You got it. Sole of the right foot in the left leg. Push down to lift up tall and then as you exhale, fold forwards. Now if uh, we tried in the week, little pulses, see how that feels today. Or maybe you need a bit of stillness. Knee can be bent as well. Just explore it. Dancing into the day. Good. Lift yourself right back up. Bring that right foot flat. Give yourself a nice bit of space in between the legs. Push down to your left hand. Bring the left knee up to the chest and extend the left leg all the way back. Front foot moves to the back, find plank, and then take the hips up and back into downward facing dog. How's that right leg feel? Give it a little wiggle. The right leg feels fine, it's just the left leg saying, hmm, we need to feel the same as the right. So let's bring the left foot outside the left hand, keep the sole of the left foot flat, and lower your right knee to the floor. Draw your chest forwards. Relax into that space a little moment. And then start to rock forwards and back. Just being mindful of the hamstring as you rock back. Hands can be on a block if the floor is too far away. And so you play with it, see what you can manage. See what feels good for you. Now you're not trying to replicate my practice, you're trying to listen to your body. Where do you need to go to feel the stretch? Then we can step onto that left foot, turn the left foot onto its side and open up the knee. Draw your chest forwards, how does that feel there? And again, we try and rock forwards and back. Notice now how it feels different. Do you have to move a little bit more carefully? Is there more space or less space? And then see if you can add in the little circles. And you see, I'll feel the weight move through the fingertips, the knees flare out to the side, the hips going in a little bit of a different journey. Maybe circle it the other way. And then sinking into that left leg with the left knee open, twist the, the left arm up towards the side. Um, and then and the sky. If it feels all right, bend the right leg, reach back, catch hold of the right foot, and then twist the chest towards that left side. And you're pushing your foot into the hand. So you can feel the stretch through the front of your right thigh. Breathing in. And breathing in. Lovely, release that right leg. Bring your right hand flat, your right foot flat. Tuck your back toes, lift the back knee. Now you're going to bring your left hand up off the floor, bring your right knee into your chest and extend the leg all the way forwards. You're going to press the left foot to the inner right thigh, push down to lift up tall, and then exhale, fold over the right leg. Little pulses, if that feels good. Nice little pulses. Feeling the stretch of the hamstring, or you can stay in stillness. 
And you never want to pulse past your range of movement. So you're pulsing into the range of movement. You can close your eyes if you like, so you can really feel that a bit more. Good. Lift yourself back up. Place your left foot just a nice distance away from your right leg to give you space. Push down to your right hand. Lift your right leg up. Take the right leg all the way back. Front foot to the back, find your plank, and lift the hips up and back into down facing dog. Again, let's have a little wiggle here, squeeze the heels down. You can try and do a little circular motion with the hips. Waking up your body. Take a big breath in, your full downward facing dog. Open mouth and exhale, let it go. Try and lift the sit bones up. Yeah, let's step your right foot inside the right hand. Stay with the knee lifted now, rock forwards and back. Be strong through the back foot, be strong through the front foot. Then you can turn the foot onto its side and do the same thing, forwards and back, let the knees flay out to the side. As you draw circles here, you can bend the left leg and create those circles. Staying on the edge of your right foot. See, your arms are working quite a lot here. Take the circle the other way. Good. Push down through your left hand, sink into the stretch. You can put your right foot flat. And then uh, twist right fingers up to the sky. You can let the right hand fall behind your back. Draw the right shoulder back as you try and twist. Don't let your left hip sink too much. Try and lift that left hip up as you twist. Good, look down. You're gonna bring your left knee into your chest and extend it all the way out to the front of the mat. Sit down onto the floor. Take your right arm as far forwards as you can. You've got your right foot flat. And then wrap the right arm on the outer right shin. This might be it. This might be where you stay. Maybe you can take the right hand around your back. Reach your left hand forwards. Take the left hand behind. Now, if you can't get your hands, hook your hands around your pajamas or your leggings. If you can get your hands, catch hold of the fingers, lift your chest up, and then exhale, fold forwards. How's it feel? Are you ready for this? Where is their tightness? Can you draw the left shoulder back? Can you breathe into wherever you can get to here? Imagine you're going to stand on the right foot. That's how much energy you've got pushing down through that right foot. Take one more breath. And release. Left hand goes down. Push down through your right foot. Bring your left knee up to your chest. Extend it all the way back and take the front foot to the back. Hips up into downward facing dog. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Circles with your hips. Relax your head, relax your neck. And then stepping your left foot outside your left hand. Doing a, a lunge, you can take the uh, forwards and back with your left foot flat. Really feel the energy through your hands and each foot. And so try not to take, uh, not to feel it, you know, so you want to feel it equally through both feet, not just more in one or the other. Strength through both feet, both hands. Turn the left foot onto its side, send the left knee out, and then as you start to do circles here, you're bending into the right leg. See how you can get as much movement as you can through these hips. And your arms are working quite hard. Circle it the other way. Yeah, see what's available. Sinking forwards with the, the knee open. You can twist the left arm up to the sky. Enjoy it. Connect the left hand fall behind your back. Try and open up the top shoulder there. And I like to try and use my left hand to pick my right hip up. 
Okay, so we don't want to cheat and let the right hip drop here. With the left foot flat, look down, release the left arm, bring your right knee into your chest and extend the right leg all the way out in front. Yes, good, you've got a nice space in between your feet. So you can reach your, uh, your foot and your thigh, sorry, reach your left arm forwards. And maybe you can take your left back of the arm around the left shin. That might be enough for you here, just lifting up. Or you can rotate the arm so the shoulder rotates, palm faces up behind you. Right fingers forwards. Take the hands behind. Interlace the fit, well, catch hold of the fingers or hook the fingers around your, your trousers. Inhale, lift the head chest up. And exhale. Imagine you're going to stand on that left leg. That will give you the energy that you need to get into this stretch. Okay, where is the restriction? Where do you need to breathe? Okay, what is your version of this today? Lovely guys, when you're ready, really good. So you've got your right hand, uh, right hand flat on the floor. You're going to push down into the right hand, left foot. Bring your right knee up to your chest. Take it all the way to the back and front foot to the back. Hips up into downward facing dog. Hold it there once you get there. Breathe in. And breathe in. Awesome. Just step your right foot outside your right hand. Going to turn the right foot onto its side and twist the right arm up to the sky. Take the right hand around your back. Maybe that right hand can snuggle around the left hip. Try and lift it up as you twist. Good. Releasing the right hand, let the left toes fall towards the right side. Lift those hips up, squeeze the inner thighs. Strong to your left hand. Now take your right foot back on top of your left. You're in side plank, but then let your right foot fall behind your left leg. Sole of the foot on the floor. Both feet flat now. Lift the hips up. Yeah, so that left foot is flat. You're in like a half crab. You can sit your bum down to the floor. If you didn't get it on this side, you'll get it on the other side. Lift the hips right back up. Extend your left leg where it came from. So go to the edge of the left foot. And straighten that left leg, come through and bring your right foot to the top of the mat. See how elegantly you can do that. Lower the left knee to the floor and then lift the arms up. How does that feel there? Inhale, lift the chest up. And then exhale, bring the hands down. Tucking the back toes, take the front foot to the back. Lift the hips up and back into your downward facing dog. Big breath in, get round two. So if you struggle there, don't worry, you'll get it this time. So nice and easy, step your left foot outside of your left thumb. Turn the left foot onto its side, open up the knee, and then twist left fingers to the sky. Yeah. You can take your left hand around your back, maybe the left hand snuggles around that right hip, tries to bring it up as you twist the chest. Good, release the left arm to the sky. Turn the right toes towards the left. Lift those hips up, squeeze the inner thighs. Come through your side plank. Send the left leg back on top of the right, and then let the left foot go behind you. Bend the right leg, sole of the right foot flat on the floor, lift the hips up, and then sit the hips down. That's it, good, lift the hips right back up. Straighten the right leg, go onto the edge of the right foot. You're going to bring your left knee up and left foot towards the right hand. Land it down. Going to lower your right knee to the floor. Release the right toes and lift the arms up. Feel that lovely extension. Breathing in. And then breathing out, bringing the hands down. Tucking the back toes, front foot to the back. 
hip sucking back into your downward facing dog. Give it a wiggle, guys. Wiggle into your downward dog, into your best downward dog. You're gonna take your right foot next to the right thumb. Last little round here. You know where you're going now. Right foot onto its side, right fingers to the sky. Let the right hand fall around your back and that right hand lift the left hip up as you twist the chest to the right. Lift the right arm up, turn the left toes towards the right. Squeeze the inner thighs up to the sky. Right foot onto your left, side plank, and then take right foot behind you. Step the left foot in, sit the hips down, and then lift the hips right back up. Straighten the left leg, go onto the edge of the left foot, and then how carefully can you bring the right knee all the way to the right shoulder, right foot next to that left hand. Good, lower the left knee to the floor, Release the left toes, lift the arms. Lovely, good, all right. As you go, taking the hands down, come back onto your left knee, right toes to the sky. Come onto your fists and slide your right foot forwards. Yes, then tuck your back toes and lift your back knee. This is it, this is where you might stay. This is good right here. Maybe you slide the leg forwards. And see where you're at with your Hanumanasana, your monkey pose today. Breathe in. It is early. It's not the easiest to pose first thing in the morning. Go where, go where you feel the stretch. That's what's important. It's not about where you are. It's where do you feel the stretch. One more breath. Get pushed down to the fists and then bring your right foot all the way back in into your downward facing dog, wiggle out those hips. Mm. Stepping the left foot outside your left thumb. Turn the left foot onto its side, twist the left arm up to the sky. That's it, notice now your right hip drops down. This is what we don't want. So take the left hand behind and use your left fingers to lift the right hip up and then twist, opening up that left knee. It's very easy to let that hip sink. And then take the left arm to the sky, turn your right toes towards the left, lift those hips up, squeeze the inner thighs. Go through your side plank, take the left foot behind you, bend the right leg, sole of the foot flat, and then let the hips sink down. Good, lift the hips right back up, reach the left fingers to the top of the mat. And then extend your right leg, edge of the foot on the floor, Bring your left knee up to your left shoulder. Left foot lands next to the right thumb or towards that area. Lower your right knee to the floor. Release the right toes, lift your arms up. You've arrived here like nothing's happened. Good, take the hands down. Come back onto your right knee. Left toes to the sky. How's that feeling there? How's the hamstring? You can come onto your fists. Now slide your left leg forwards. Tuck your back toes and lift your back knee. This is enough. Maybe though you've got a little bit more space, you can slide the left foot forwards, but don't open up that right hip. Keep the right hip drawing forwards. Find where you're comfortable. Close your eyes and breathe. Well, wow. breathe into the uncomfortableness. One more breath, wherever you are. Push down to the fists to bring that left leg right back in. Downward facing dog when you get there. Big breath in. And long breath out. Bend knees and look forwards. Feel your belly on your thigh, feel your your ribs moving towards the thighs. And then propel both feet outside the hands. One fail swoop. Sit your hips down once you get there. Yeah, reach your arms forwards as far forwards as you can. Good, good, good. <laughs> Take your hands to the floor, lift the hips up super high, and then heel toe the feet to the center. 
Inhale, take the halfway lift and lengthen. And then exhale, fall, take the hands behind the calves, relax the head, chest down. Push down to roll your way up, palms together, lift the arms up, thighs forwards, hips forwards. And then exhale, fall and hinge from the hips. Inhale, lift the head, chest up. And then exhale, drop your feet back into a plank. Elbows brush the rib cage, your first vinyasa. Coming into that cobra, up dog, stretch the thighs, hips. Take it up and back into downward facing dog. Bend your knees and look forwards. Feel the belly on your thighs. You're bending your knees so much. Propel the feet outside the hands. Sit the hips down low, reach your arms forwards. Good, take your hands to the floor, lift the hips up, straighten the legs. Heel toe the feet to the center. Halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale and fold. Take the hands behind your calves, draw yourself in. Push down to roll up, palms together, lift the arms up, thighs forwards, hips forwards. And then exhale, fold and hinge. Inhale, take that halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, jump or set the feet back. Find your plank, your vinyasa. Into up dog or cobra. Up and back, downward facing dog. Big breath in. Exhale, let it go. Last one now, try and be really light with jumping those feet outside the hands. So bend your knees and look forwards. Propel those feet outside the hands. Once you get there, sit the hips down. You got it, reach the arms forward. Sink, sink, sink those hips down. Yeah, take the hands down, lift the hips up. Heel to the feet to the center. Halfway lift and lengthen. Can you take the weight to your toes? Exhale and fold. Roll your way up, pushing down to come up. Palms touch, lift the arms up. And then exhale, fold and hinge. Inhale, take a halfway lift and lengthen. And then exhale, jump, step, float your feet back. Find vinyasa, your way, your flow. Meet me in downward facing dog. Big breath in, long breath out. Good. Well done guys, walk your feet to your hands, or in between your hands. Hook onto your big toes with the top two fingers. Uh, have a little space in between your feet. Elbows out to the side. Yeah, bend your knees if you can't reach your, hand, your feet. Inhale, straighten your arms and draw the chest forwards. Lengthen the spine. Then exhale, pull on the toes. Push the toes down. Bend the arms and lower yourself down. Tummy, chest and head. And again, inhale. So there's resistance here. Toes pushing down and fingers pushing up. Lengthen the spine. And then exhale, bend the arms. Lower down. Tummy, chest, head. Feel the resistance in your toes and your fingers. Last one, inhale, draw the head chest forwards. You can have the legs bent, you can have them straight if it doesn't hurt your back. Bend the arms, lower yourself down. Good, inhale, release. Now, if that's enough, do that again. Otherwise, place your hands underneath your feet. You want your toes tickling your wrists. If you need to bring your head up for a bit of blood flow, then you can. As you exhale, same thing, push down to your feet, send the elbows out to the side, lower yourself down, pull down. Yeah, so you can feel the feet pushing into your hands. Inhale, lift the head, chest up, straightening the arms, and then exhale, elbows bend. Draw yourself down. Good, good, last one. Inhale, draw the head, chest forwards. That's it, and then exhale, pull on the feet. The, the feet down, the hands up, feel that stretch. Oh, good, release the hands. Roll your way up. Last thing to come up is the head. It's gonna be nice to counterpose kind of that now. Hands behind you, fingers pointing downwards. Bend those knees a lot, tuck the tail, 
Draw the chest back, squeeze back, your hands are pushing the hips forward. And then lift it up and over, hinge from the hips. Good, releasing the hands, inhale, lift the head, chest up. And then exhale, jump it back into plank. Four step. Last vinyasa, elbows brush the rib cage. Come through into cobra, upper dog, stay here. Relax the legs, relax the feet. Maybe you can lift the chest, you can have the arms a bit more bent, but just see where have you got room to move? How does it feel through your hips, through your chest, through your back? You can always have the arms bent, a little less intense. And then push the hips back into your child's pose. Ah, forehead down into the floor. How are we doing? Inhale. And exhale. Roll your way up. <clears throat> We're going to sit arm to one side. Have you got a block? Yes, can you just grab your block? <clears throat> if you haven't got one, don't worry. You can use the strength of your legs. <laughs> so lower down onto your back. Push down through your feet, lift your hips up and slide the block underneath your sacrum onto that, onto, on the medium edge. Now, if you haven't got a block, you can always grab a pillow, try and pile up a pillow underneath you. And you can extend your right leg out to the front of the mat and just let the right toes fall out to the side. So all that forward folding that we've done, this is a really nice way to, to counterpose that, but in a relaxed way. Yeah, so you've worked hard today. You can try um, bringing the right foot to the sky and then letting it fall back to the right side and see how that feels in your hip. It's almost as good as well. <clears throat> so now push down to your left foot. Let's bring your right knee into your chest. So we're used to this feeling now, this closing off, but you can try extending the right leg to the sky. Yes, and then just pulse the leg towards the head. And you can point the left toe, uh, sorry, right toes, and lower the right leg all the way to the front of the mat. Let those right toes just turn outwards. Let the right leg, right hip melt open. Breathing in, breathing out. If this is too much, you can always turn the block on its lower edge. So you're going to bend the right leg and bring the right foot flat. Extend the left leg up and let those left toes fall out to the side. So feel that counterpose now what we've done. You can try bringing the left toes to the sky, pushing down through the left heel and then letting it fall open again, just exploring the movement that you've got there, space. If stillness is better, just stay in stillness. And then bring your left knee into your chest. It's not going to come in all of the way because of the way your spine is but then extend the left leg in line with the left thigh. You can pulse the leg towards the head. Should feel pretty loose, pretty free. Good. Lower the left leg, pointing the toes, letting the heel land onto the floor, and then just let those left toes fall outwards to the side. Imagine the left hip bone melting upwards open or outwards. Extend your right leg out and again if it's too much on your back lower it onto its lower edge. And try and relax, let those hips melt open. One more breath. And re-bend both legs, lift the hips up and then put the block onto its lower edge. And so if uh, unfluff your pillow if you're using a pillow. Get down a little bit lower. Bring the soles of the feet together, knees open, and you take the arms up and over your head. 
Eyes closed, face relaxed. Breathe into the belly, into the rib cage, into your chest. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. If you're still in that movement phase and you want to rock from side to side, it's quite a nice massage on your back. And press your big toes together, your heels together, lift your knees slightly, engage your inner thighs and then lift the hips up, keeping those knees open. And see if you can draw a little figure of eight with your hips here, it's not that easy. Let's see what movement you can do. You can slide the block out, lower the spine down and then let the knees relax open. Let the inner thighs open, let, the, let everything just relax. Breathing in, breathing out. Nice guys, we're going to bring the knees back up to the center, the feet flat onto the floor. Big breath in, belly expands. And as you breathe out, push down to your feet to lift the hips up. And you can take your hands underneath you, interlace and squeeze your shoulder blades together. Walk your feet, maybe two steps away from your hands towards the front of the mat. You don't want the legs completely straight. And then push the hips up there. So notice how it brings so much more awareness into those hamstrings. And then add a bit more by trying to drag the heels towards your hands. Feel the glutes fire, lift those hips up. Good. Releasing the hands, you can bring your feet in one step and then lower your spine down nice and slow. <sighs> and bring your knees into your chest. Wrap your arms over the tops of the knees again. This is a familiar shape from this class. But now we'll let both knees fall to the right side into a twist. Left arm over towards the left side. Gaze straight up to the sky. Squeeze your left shoulder blade down into the mat. Take your left thumb and place it in the crease of your left hip. And then try and move the left thigh away from your chest. Like see if you can find a bit more space there. As you continue to squeeze the left shoulder down. And see if that can help you to change the stretch. Trying to find space between the hip and the uh, the top of your the top of your hip and the bottom of your hip. If I was there and if I was allowed to, that's what I would do for you here. A little adjustment is just to draw that leg away. Bring the knees back into your chest and we'll let let it fall to the other side. Oh, this side feels stiff now. Looking up to the sky, big breath in, long breath out. If you want to try that again with the right thumb now, place it in the crease of your left hip and try and draw the left thigh away, oh, sorry, right thigh away. Squeeze your right shoulder blade towards the floor. Find that space. And then bringing the legs back into the center. You can extend the legs out to the corners of the mat, the arms up and over your head. Take a big breath in through your nose. Open your mouth and exhale, let it go. Let all your muscles relax. You've got one moment here. Every muscle soft. No awareness on your breath. Letting the earth support you. So this is where I leave you, but if you want to stay here a little bit longer, stay as long as you like. We'll start to move the toes and move the fingers. And we can roll to the right side. 
and then using your hands come up to seated to face the front. Bring your palms together in gratitude to yourselves for getting here today. In gratitude to whatever else there is that you're grateful for. Big breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste. So next week we're up to an hour. Yeah, so back to an hour. And it'll be a mixture of me and the girls and Friday I'll be in the pod. Okay, so hopefully you'll have a nice mixture of everything. If you want to practice in the evening, then book on in the morning and I'll send you the link. <laughs> All change next week. <laughs>